I'm Amy Cherry. The fate of embattled city manager Jim Landon rests with Palm Coast City Council Mayor Melissa Holland. To discuss our city manager, uh, the future of our city manager, and what that would look like. This is the first time that the city council will actually talk about this publicly, and uh, we are under the Sunshine Law in Florida, so we cannot have private discussions. Landon celebrated 10 years with the city earlier this year and even got a 4% raise. But recently, there's been some concerns raised over the city's vision and path towards technological and economic growth. Councilman Steve Nobile says it's time for a refresh and says the city needs someone who can better attract new business and generate revenue. Landon could retire as early as 2019, but it appears at least three council members may be poised to vote for change sooner. But meeting will be our first real view of any conflict that's been brewing behind closed doors. The meeting's happening at 9 a.m. at City Hall. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Flagler County officials hope a new construction project will bring more companies to the area. Ben Smith reports. Long known simply as Project Spec, the building site at the corner of U.S. Highway 1 and Otis Stone Hunter Road in Bunnell will be a relatively rare endeavor. Flagler County Commissioner and Chair of the Economic Opportunity Council, Donald O'Brien. What's neat about it is it's built with the idea of attracting new businesses into town that will occupy the space or current businesses that might want to expand. Speculative construction has been practically non-existent in the region since the Great Recession. O'Brien says interest in the site is already high and bodes well for future projects. Once we show that this can happen, I think that's going to give us a great example that we can use to promote to other investors. Construction on the site, officially dubbed the U.S. Highway 1 Commercial Park, will begin later this year with occupancy available early next year. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Ben Smith. Social media solves a case. Sheriff's deputies say surveillance footage caught a man stealing mail from local mailboxes in at least two locations in Palm Coast's P section. The thefts happened on July 27th on Patuxent Lane and Peyton Place. Photos of the thefts in progress were posted to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, clearly showing the suspect in his Toyota 4Runner. When the suspect saw himself on social media, he turned himself in. He's been charged with theft. Flagler County's new website is in the running for a national award. Mary Rose Hamilton has the story. Flagler County was notified yesterday that its new website is a finalist in the 2017 Savvy Awards competition held by the National City County Communications and Marketing Association. Flagler County will not be notified of the exact award until September 7th. Now, the new site went live on March 1st, more than eight years since the last update. A redesign had been discussed on and off over the years but budgetary concerns prevented Flagler County from moving forward. Revised staff worked with Flagler County to create the framework for its new website. Julie Murphy, Flagler County's public information officer, populated the pages with all of the content and original photography. The goal of the redesign was to create a site that would entice its visitors to browse its ages and learn more about the services and amenities available right here in Flagler County. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Mary Rose Hamilton. And now you're up to date. On Flagler's Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry.